Today's video is sponsored by Pouch. All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today I'm back in this 2005 Land Rover Discovery 3 HSE, which I bought about six months ago for, believe it or not, 500 pounds. Now, I know that sounds like a good deal, but it was just fit for the scrap heap, and it had been valued accordingly. Yes, it ran, but that was about it. It had loads of issues. But because I'm too soft for my own good and a bit of a hopeless romantic, I took pity on it and decided to spare its life. So I spent about £500 on it, having a full engine service and a gearbox service because it had this weird juddering feeling under acceleration. So the gearbox service cured that. I had the engine service, so changed all the fluids and filters. And I sent the key off to be repaired because it didn't work. The next thing it needed was an MOT because the MOT that it had was quite short. So I ran it back down to my mechanics and asked them to do a check over just to see what it needed for its MOT. And the list was very, very, very long. It needed welding, suspension components, a new handbrake, plus loads of other grim stuff that completely took the wind out of my sails, so I kind of lost interest in it. At that point, before going any further, I decided to sell it to a mate of mine who loves discoveries, and he decided to do all the work on it. I didn't make any money on it, in fact, I lost a little bit, but at least I knew it was going to a good home. Over the last three or four months, he's been spending every weekend on it. Him and his brother-in-law have been doing all the work. It now has a full clean MOT with no advisor items and it drives really well. All of the rubber suspension bushings have been replaced and you can tell. You go over potholes in this and it just feels solid and tight. Gone is that wayward feeling. All that work though did come at quite a price. He sent me over a full list of the breakdown of everything he's spent on it. So I'll go through that list with you shortly. Let me find somewhere nice and scenic to park up so I can go through this list. At least if we have a good view it might take some of the pain away catch up with you in a second. Right then, let's get on with this horrendous list. I'll tell you what, the Discovery 3 makes quite a good office, doesn't it? Plenty of space here. Might terminate the contract on mine and just buy myself an old disco. That was low fuel. You always panic, don't you, when you're in an old car, especially an old Land Rover. But it was just the fuel light, nothing to worry about. Before I continue, let me show you how I save money when I'm ordering parts online. This is something that I recommended to my pal, and it did save him quite a few hundred pounds. If you download something called Pouch, it's a free desktop browser extension, which automatically searches for and finds the best discount codes while you're shopping online. I'll leave the link below in the video description, so you can click the link and play around with it for yourself. I always use it when I'm shopping online religiously, and it always saves me some money. Let me try and demonstrate. I'm going to order an air filter for this Land Rover Discovery. So if I go to Euro Car Parts and type in the vehicle reg, so NK05VUW, the fact that I remember that shows how sad I am. Find the part that I want, add it to basket, and proceed to checkout. All of a sudden, up pops pouch and automatically searches for a discount code, and it's applied a healthy discount without me having to do anything. There we go, a Crossland air filter was £25.49, but Pouch has found me the discount code SERVICE, which has saved me £12.75. How good's that? What's good is that Pouch works with over 3,000 UK websites, so don't think it's just Euro car parts, it's loads of other sites too. Black Circles, if you're looking for tyres, John Lewis, Goldsmiths, Game, so it's definitely worth checking out. The other good thing about Pouch, even if there are no discount codes available at that time, you can still earn things called Pouch Points from participating retailers, and you can exchange these for gift cards. It's also very easy to download, and it's totally free. So you just download the extension, and then pin it to your browser. It's definitely a must-have, so make sure you get Pouch today for free by clicking the link in the video description. Right, on to my friend's spend. So, he bought a set of wheels and tyres from eBay off a later car. Now all the tyres match, and the wheels look tons better. Before it had the wrong wheels on, they were tiny and they just looked wrong. So they cost £350, plus a set of wheel nuts, they cost 30 it needed a new bonnet catch, that was £25. It needed a new bonnet struts, they were £15. Then it was the handbrake, now this was a nightmare to do apparently. I'm only going off what he's told me, I wasn't actually there first hand. But they stripped it down and replaced all the cables and the mechanism. So the handbrake cables cost £256. The handbrake clips and springs, they cost another £35. It also needed a brake wear centre, that cost £10. There were some knuckle clips on the handbrake, they cost £22.50. It also needed some brake fluid, that cost £12. There was also a handbrake flexi-link, that cost £52. And a handbrake adjuster, that cost £20. It also needed rear back plates, because as you can see in these pictures, it was completely, or they were completely rotten. They cost £50. It needed caliper guides, they were £15. 
it's also had handbrake shoes plus fixing kit, they were £70, and a handbrake linkage, that cost £20. A really expensive job. I don't know why they didn't just put a traditional old-fashioned manual handbrake. It would have saved all that aggravation. It also needed a prop shaft bearing, that cost £50. A spare wheel winch, that was £45. Then onto the suspension issues. If you remember from the last video, it needed new suspension arms, which were quite expensive. So my mate found a kit which replaced all the front suspension and the rear as well. So the full rear suspension arm set, that cost £350. And the full front suspension arm set cost £325. Oh, there's more stuff for the handbrake kit. Handbrake service kit costs £86. The rear shoes cost £40. It needed rear wheel bearings, they cost £50 and new rear bushes, they were £40, plus all the greases, oils, so he said add on another £100 or so for that. In typical wheeler dealer's fashion, this doesn't include any labour by the way, and it's taken him every Saturday and most Sundays for the last three or four months. The interesting thing is though, he's not a mechanic, he just decides to have a go at it himself by watching videos on YouTube, which does show what can be achieved, doesn't it? So let me add all this up together. That comes to £2,093.50. It's a lot of money, isn't it? So I suspect this car now owes him around three grand, three, three and a half grand. Which I know it's still done 223,000 miles, but it's well sorted now with a clean MOT, so it's got to be worth at least that, hasn't it? Don't forget it's a top spec HSE model and it's automatic. Mm, so if you're watching, I wouldn't be too worried about that investment. I still think you're on the right side of it. And yeah, function. I thought that was a fault, that was just because I'm too close to that bush at the front. The parking sensors are going crazy. So thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll leave the link below. Don't forget to check out Pouch. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.